<laughs> YouTube, man, what's going on? It's your boy RLXS Tunk, aka Derek, man. Y'all already know what the business is. Uh, make sure y'all watch the last video if y'all haven't already, man. This is my second video of today. I'm about to show y'all what mod I just did to my 2020 Kia Optima, man, that I feel like everybody should do to their 2020 Kia Optima. Matter of fact, I feel like I'm the first person to do this to a 2020 Kia Optima. I ain't seen it done yet. I had to go to a random parking lot, as y'all can see. We got Belk right there, Starbucks and all that over there. Got a couple. Got the cars, the trucks even right there, them 2021 uh, Tahoes and Yukons and stuff like that, man. Hey, shout out to General, Je oh, shout out to General Motors, man. Shout out to General Motors. I used to work at GM. But we about to get to it, man. I'm about to show y'all exactly what I did to my Kia Optima, man, my 2020 Kia Optima. If you new here, man, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you like, make sure you share this video all around. Because like I said, I feel like I'm the first person to do it. I could be wrong, but I haven't seen nobody do it on YouTube yet. But if you're new to the channel, man, this is my 2020 Kia Optima. My 2020 Kia Optima, man. Hold on. Drip check. You feel me? Drip check. Drip check. Drip check. You know, we had to throw a little drip check in there. Got my little reacts on. Only warm a few times. We ain't gonna show y'all that scratch, man. I'm pretty sure y'all tired of seeing that scratch. I gotta go ahead and get that fixed, man. But this is my 2020 uh, Kia Optima, man. Not nosy people going past. When you're a YouTuber, man, you gotta get used to doing videos in public, man, and talking and all that. You gotta be used to it. I got 15% on my front windows. I'm finna say windshield. I got 15% on my front windows. I got 5% on the back, man. I'm just giving y'all a review of the car, man. If you're new to the channel, if you ain't seen the car already, got the chrome tip on there. This is a uh, FE model. So this ain't the newest. This ain't not the newest. This ain't the most upgraded model. It is one of the newest. We kind of got a little, little pearl in the paint. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. But yeah, man, we're going to go ahead and get right on up into it. I'm going to show y'all exactly what's going on. Uh, one thing I did want to show, though, on the channel, though, man, is I want to know... If this right here is actually, oh, I got my base knob right there. Look, I done kind of gave it away what I done did to the car, man. I want to show y'all underneath the hood. I want to know if this was done right, man. Hold on. It's kind of hard to do with one hand, y'all. Just bear with me. Just bear with me. Just bear with me. All right, there we go. We got it. We got it, gang. One man army around here, man. Four cylinder, of course. Ain't nothing with a little Kia Optima, you feel me? But let me know if this is safe, man. This install. I don't really think nothing wrong with it. But let me know, man. With this type of car. Let me know if that's safe with that being in between there like that. I mean, if it is, let me know down in the comments if I'm tripping. I do need to get a new battery for this car. I want to get a red top. Because I did notice a couple nights ago I was letting it bang a little bit, man. And my uh, my front lights was flashing. So I do kind of want to get a new battery for this car as well. Uh, but I also want to show y'all. Uh, oh, look. I, look, I, didn't already, I didn't already gave it away. Look, I might as well show y'all. I don't mind these bags right here. Don't mind these bags right here, man. I need to take this shit out the trunk. But. That's pretty much what y'all came to see, man. I got the Cubon box. Mind you, man, if you ain't got, if you got some slam and you ain't got no Cubon box, any type of pro box, not even just a Cubon box, if you ain't got no pro box, man, you ain't slamming. Trust me. It's ported too. I can't really show y'all. It's bolted in the trunk, but I got a hole. I got a ported hole over there. Cubon box. Nemesis Auto. Nemesis Audio. Uh, 12 inch, man. And I want to let y'all know the the magnet on the back of this motherfucker about this thick. So it slam, trust me. I need it. I kind of, it's a decent sized trunk, but I feel like I need a bigger trunk. But I want to show y'all, this is what I was trying to show y'all. This is what I wanted to show y'all on here. I got my Nemesis Audio 2500 watt amp. That sub, by the way, push 1300 watt amp. That's the peak. I think RMS is right around 750. I could be wrong. Let me know in the comments if I'm wrong on that, man, with that specific model. But, yeah, this is 2,500 watt max. 
Nemesis Audio. Amp man, I'm telling y'all, when I tell y'all this shit bang, this shit bang, man. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. I actually wanted, I actually wanted two of these. Hold on. I actually wanted two of them, but when I went to actually get the speakers done, bro was like, hey, trust me, you only gonna need one of these. You ain't gonna need two of these. You're only gonna need one. I'm like, what? Really? I'm only gonna need one. And I believe him. I only needed one. I only needed one. He didn't change out like no RCAs or nothing like that inside the car, in the back of the radio. You know, uh, let me explain that, man. Usually when you got a factory radio, you need to change out uh, the the uh, plug-in cords in the back of the radio. I don't know everything, man, but you need to change out the plugs in the back of the radio. Otherwise, the frequencies with the volume and everything in the bass and shit is going to be completely off. Uh, but I didn't pretty much too much change nothing man clean install ain't no wires exposed no none of that no wires exposed nowhere now i do want to let y'all know like i said this shit was hitting so hard earlier that i had a blue wire exposed under here i just went on and tucked it back under there but i do got my base knob right there let me get my flavor on out the way i got my base knob nemesis audio base knob my camera don't really want to there you go I ain't really want to focus, but I got my base knob right there. As y'all can see, I got it kind of turned almost halfway up. Uh, simply, you know, for the video, I don't ever really ride with it that high. Believe it or not, man, I can ride with this all the way down, like all the way turned down. And this shit will still rock at the stoplight. Uh, but yeah, man, that's pretty much uh, the view on the, my whole little setup, man, with my Nemesis Audio 12, man. I'm going to give y'all a little preview as well of what it sounds like. As y'all can see, I got a lot of space in this trunk. I got a lot of space in this trunk. Like I said, I'm going to get rid of all of this right here too. But I'm going to show y'all what this thing sounds like, man. Let me show y'all what this thing sounds like. Got the windows down, man. I know y'all see I got this jacket on. It got a little cold out of nowhere, man. It's the second video of the day, man. I'm grinding for y'all, man. I'm grinding for y'all. I got it coming. It's on the way, man. You feel me? But we're gonna play my dog uh Life with Corey, uh Money Good song. That one that's one of my favorite songs by Corey, by the way, man. Uh but we're gonna go ahead and play his song because of course it ain't got no copyright. I don't want to get copyrighted on here playing Lil Baby or somebody like that. <clears throat> I just wanna show y'all what it sounds like, man. Y'all get the picture. If y'all, I don't even know if y'all can catch that on the camera, but this shit is slamming. Hold on, we're gonna turn it up a little bit, man, and I'm gonna show y'all from the outside. You still can hear the music from the outside. I got the windows down, but you can still hear it, man. Sound pretty good. You can hear it from all the way back here. You can still hear it from all the way back here, man. Like I said, man, this shit banging, bro. Nemesis Audio, man. I'm telling y'all, it's a good setup. I like it. Hey, man, it was worth the money, man. I ain't even gonna tell y'all what I paid for, but I paid, I paid a pretty good deal for it, man. This shit banging, man. And like I said, this ain't even halfway. The amp ain't even halfway turned up, and it still sound good. So, I mean, that's pretty much it for this video, man. Like I said, if you're new here, man, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell, because I got more shit on the way, man. It's your boy, All Excess Talk, a.k.a. Derek, and we out this thing. Yeet! Hit the road, because they come get it from me. Wake up in the morning, what I'm thinking? Get the money. My niggas got them chickens. You can't get a biscuit from me. Slide down this block with that 40. I'm going to hit me something. I got that gray. I got that tan. Look for I'm the man. All possible.